I don't know what I was planning on doing with my makeup, but whatever I was trying to do, it was not this. Anyway, hi BBs. Um, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is my first real BDSM video. Okay, now that my computer is up and running, I can actually talk to you about what I like to call freaking idiot doms, which are people that maybe they are doms, kind of, but they're like pushy and ignorant and idiotic and stupid and I've been having a whole mess of these lately like I don't know if it's the time of year if people have like cabin fever or something and idiot doms are just all freaking over the place but I'm getting real sick and tired of having to deal with these idiot doms and it really shows like why a lot of people have protectors and people that you have to message through to in order to message them like I don't have that right now and I am wishing I did because holy moly the messages are terrible so anyway this is to what it this is what to look out for if you're finding a dom if you're talking to a dom these are warning signs and like red flags that you got to be watching out for when talking to them the first one and this one comes up a lot and I absolutely hate it is manipulation um idiot doms are going to manipulate you and they're going to say things along the lines of I have a whole bunch of subs lined up like you'd be so lucky if you were with me <sighs> there's there's so many manipulation tactics you got to be on high alert looking out for those it's anything that makes you feel uncomfortable well the main rule is if it makes you feel uncomfortable, leave the situation, don't talk to that dom. Because a real dom is going to actually take the time to get to know you. They're going to take the time to... My computer shut off. Going to take the time to get to know you. Going to take the time to learn about you. They're not going to start pushing your limits right away. Um, but anyway, going back... A big 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 red flag is any sort of manipulation and it can be real subtle too but if it's something that makes you feel like they're pushing you into something that you don't really want to do that is bad and that is don't don't engage there are tons of amazing doms out there and I'd say this but I have actually been talking to a few really awesome doms lately that are like you know mentors or teachers or people that I might have on my channel to like talk about stuff and they're really cool so not all doms are terrible but you really got to be careful apparently especially right now <laughs> seems like it's insane anyway the next thing is using a certain kind of language to downgrade you any sort of degradation that isn't mutually agreed upon is not okay so I just for an example I had a Dom talk to me recently and they were like they wanted to have sex like like that and I was I said no I that's not me that's not what I want that's not what I'm looking for whole bunch of things for the reasons why no and they were like oh you're such a prude you're such a square just a whole bunch of words like that they're just getting real upset that you don't want to jump into bed with them right away and it is fully valid for you not to it's fully valid for you to be asexual and into bdsm and never want to jump into bed with a dom like that is a valid thing but call name calling like that which I will get into further, is not okay. And speaking of name calling, um, any sort of degradative, degradation terms, like calling you a bitch or a whore, is not okay. It's not agreed upon, block them right away. You do not need that kind of negativity in your life. If it's not talked about, if it's not agreed upon, they're just being assholes. They're not being a dom. A dom is someone who is respectful and caring and actually gives two shits about you 
and these people that are saying they're doms and are doing these things, they are not actually doms. They're not real doms. I kind of touched on this earlier, but mentioning sex when you're uncomfortable with it or when you've just been talking and if it's not like if it's a reply to an ad saying that you want to be used for sex then obviously he's probably going to talk about sex right away but if it's just like random messages and they want to talk about sex and you're uncomfortable Ooh. total light change <laughs> the sun just went behind the clouds anyway and you're uncomfortable with it just block them and don't feel bad about it never feel bad if you're uncomfortable about blocking somebody that is up to you you go you do what makes you feel comfortable and if the most comfortable thing for you is just getting rid of somebody then do it um, if someone is not willing to take the time to get to know you which I talked about earlier that is a huge no-no. Um, I am like, I'm like, that is a huge no-no. Um, a dom, a real dom wants to know your comfort level, your background, what background you have in, and if you have mental illness, like they want to know everything because you're not going to do a scene without talking a lot beforehand and that is absolutely important when it comes to a dom is someone who cares enough to know like I can't do knife play because this person has a history of self-harm I can't choke them because they had X incident back in the day with X person and now they can't do it so not wanting to get to know you that is a big red flag those are the things that I had written down as like those struck out to me really intensely about what to look for what not like re it stuck out to me as what to be really careful of let me see what else is there those are the things I had written down because like I said like those are the kinds of issues I've been having recently with idiot doms just contacting me and I'm like I'm not comfortable anytime Basically, it comes down to if you feel uncomfortable, don't engage with them. Um, just block them. Um, be super careful about giving out your number. Um, I recommend getting text plus and having a text plus number because sometimes idiot doms don't come out right away, but they can come out later. Um, at the end of the day, there is some awesome doms out there and there is an awesome dom out there for every sub or slave or there's an awesome top for every bottom there's an awesome master for every slave there's an awesome dom for every sub there is going to be someone out there for you it just takes some time to look and find someone honestly that's about it for what i have for this video um leave some comments down below if you know you know some other things that you've noticed to look out for with idiot doms um or you know with people who call themselves doms but are not really and <laughs> this has mostly been a rant because of how many issues i've been having recently with the contacts that i've been having from people it's awful don't don't be like that dudes and dudettes. This, I've been saying dom, but I mean like this goes for females, this goes for people who are others, anyone who's a dominant and into the lifestyle and is an idiot. You know, this counts for all of them. So be wary, but know that there is some good doms out there too and they're going to be the ones that want to get to know you. Anyway, I will cut this video because it's going to be kind of long and I know you don't want to hear me ramble for that much longer. So, <laughs> I love you babies and I hope you enjoyed my first kind of BDSM video. Mwah! Take care. <laughs>